while we're here in town, of course, we want to check out um, all the things that there are to do. And so that is an assignment that we would give to Karen Scullin. And she spent some time on the lake and at Coney Island. So we want to go to Karen for a look at just how you've been spending your time as you're running around town. Yeah, I've got the lucky assignment out here, Kelsey. You know, Lake Waconia sits right on the edge of town. And this lake has a ton to offer, including a lot of old stories that really bring the lake to life. In some ways, Lake Waconia has changed over the last 100 years. And in many other ways, nothing's changed. In Town Marina has your bait and rental boats ready to go. On the lake, water sports are welcome, the fishing is phenomenal, and the calm waters great for kayaking. No boat? Just hit the beach. We're close enough to everything that the metro area has to offer, uh, yet far enough away where you still can feel like you can get away here. But in and around all the fun, one thing's for sure, this lake holds a lot of history that's full of mystery. No doubt the biggest buzz is always over Coney Island. It sits in the middle of Lake Waconia, and if the old remnants there could talk, the stories they could tell. This looks like an old road, as a matter of fact, and so you can only imagine what it used to be uh, out here. In the 1900s, that road was likely busy with people walking. When the train was a primary mode of travel, tourists loved to go to Coney Island of the West, taking a ferry to the hotel, the pavilion, a restaurant, cabins, and concerts on the island. It was bustling. It's rumored Mark Twain and even Al Capone stopped by. And from 1903 to 1905, on the east end of the island, where it's flat, the University of Minnesota Gopher football team you know held like fall it. practice there. I just keep thinking every time somebody kicks a ball, it's gone right, right. in the exactly. water. But as people started driving cars, they drove to new places, leaving Coney in ruins. The good news is Coney Island is now cleaned up and open for exploration, and it's fascinating. Okay, so I got a little lost, but getting lost is kind of fun out here. You never know what you're going to see. All right, here's the trail again. You hike under leaves and in between trees that have taken the place of what used to be. It's beautiful, and your imagination can run wild on this 32-acre island. That way or that way? This way. Picnic tables, places to grill, and many, many places to explore. The mystery will keep you coming back for more. And they are still working on a few things out on the island. For instance, they'll put in bathrooms eventually. And there will also be a ferry that takes folks from shore to the island. Right now, you can beach your boat, unless it's an in-town rental boat. You can't do that. But there's no really place to dock your boat at this time. A lot of ways, though, still to enjoy the lake and to enjoy Coney Island of the West. We're live in Waconia, Karen Scullin, Fox 9.